we'll view the results in CFD post, the newer post processor as opposed to the fluent post processor which can be accessed here. It turns out entities such as Mach number and total pressure don't get transferred to CFD post by default. So we have to manually transfer them into the post processor from the fluent solver. So to do that, select file, data file quantities, and these are the standard quantities that are transferred by default. Um, and let's select some additional quantities. So select static pressure, total pressure by clicking on them, Mach number, and total temperature. And OK. Then go to the project page. And to start CFD post, double click on results. And it says starting CFD post. Let's plot contours of Mach number. So I'll say contour. And I can give it an appropriate name. Mach number, say. And I want the Mach number plotted over the flow domain which when it comes into CFD post is called symmetry one. So as I um, slide down this list, it highlights the entity in the graphics window here. So symmetry one is the front of uh, the face, um, and symmetry two is the back. So in 2D, it doesn't make a difference. So I'll select symmetry one, and I want to plot the mark number, and say apply. OK, and to view along Z, I'll select that. And zoom to fit, I can select that. And to turn off the mesh, I can click on flow domain here. And I can also increase the number of contours. So let me come here, down here, and say number of contours, 101. So I can see that the Mach number behind the shock is about 2.2 and I see you know that fluent captures an oblique shock and there is smearing that happens because um, a numerical method cannot capture a, a, a sharp discontinuity plus we are using a fairly coarse mesh so turn on the mesh in the plot so select symmetry one and if you zoom in to near the shock using the right mouse button, you see that the it takes about um, one, two, three, about four cells maybe to, to transition from uh, ahead of the shock to behind the shock. And we will you know refine the mesh in the vicinity of the shock to see to get a crisper shock. And so Select Zoom to Fit, and turn off the mesh. And to save a copy of this uh, figure, you can select the camera icon. And I like to go up a couple of levels in folder. So I'll go up to my main folder, Wedge, and I'll save it as mark.png. So you have a copy of that um, figure now, and I can say cancel.